In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear sisters and brothers, my name is Monsignor Esau Joseph. It's a great honor to celebrate Holy Mass for Monday of the 29th week in ordinary time. We warmly welcome all of you. We pray today in a very special way for our Archbishop for a very successful and a restful retreat. Dear sisters and brothers, let us truly acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God, May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. You were dead through the crimes and the sins in which you used to live when you were following the way of this world, obeying the ruler who governs the air, the spirit who is at work in the rebellious. We all were among them too in the past, living sensual lives, ruled entirely by our own physical desires and our own ideas. So that by nature, we were as much under God's anger as the rest of the world. But, God loved us with so much love that he was generous with his mercy. When we were dead through our sins, he brought us to life with Christ. It is through grace that you have been saved and raised us up with him and gave us a place with him in heaven in Christ Jesus. This was to show for all ages to come through his goodness towards us in Christ Jesus, how infinitely rich he is in grace. Because it is by grace that you have been saved through faith, not by anything of your own, but by a gift from God, not by anything that you have done, so that nobody can claim the credit. We are God's work of art, created in Christ Jesus to live the good life, as from the beginning he had meant us to live it. The word of the Lord. He made us, we belong to him. 
He made us, we belong to him. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him singing for joy. He made us, us, we belong to him. Know that he, the Lord, is God. He made us, we belong to him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. He made us, us, we belong to him. Go within his gates giving thanks. Enter his courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. He made us, us we belong to him. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal his merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. He made us, we belong to him. my God, make me walk in your truth. With you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory be to you, to you Lord. O Lord. A man in the crowd said to Jesus, Master, tell my brother to give me a share of our inheritance. My friend, he replied, who appointed me your judge or the arbitrator of your claims? Then he said to them, watch and be on your guard against avarice of any kind. For a man's life is not made secure by what he owns, even when he has more than he needs. Then he told them a parable. There was once a rich man who, having had a good harvest from his land, thought to himself, what am I to do? I have not enough room to store my crops. Then he said, this is what I will do. I will pull down my barns and build my bigger ones and store all my grain and my goods in them. And I will say to my soul, my soul, you have plenty of good things laid by for many years to come. Take things easy, eat, drink, and have a good time. But God said to him, fool, this very night the demand will be made for your soul. And this horde of yours, whose will it be then? So, so it is when a man stores up treasure for himself in place of making himself rich in the sight of God. The gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, you, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Make yourself rich in the sight of God. In today's gospel, we have a warning. Jesus issued a warning. A warning to be always, always watchful. Always on guard. Always vigilant against greed and avarice of any kind, any kind. It is a lifelong struggle against the numerous attractions of this passing world. Like in the times of Jesus, it is the same today. There are certain things that the world still consider to be riches, inheritance, Right, as in the man of the gospel today in the crowd, land, 
property, investment, money, bank accounts, material possessions. And this preoccupation with this worldly riches, like the man in the parable, it need not always be material things that we run after. Not necessarily tangible things we can touch, feel, and appreciate. Sometimes it may include the very things that we run after as, as our elusive dreams or, or, or our obs obsessions in life. Things like titles or recognition, prestige, power, position, pleasure, popularity, luxury, authority, control. One of the attractions of the world, as you know, today is this whole attitude of gaining more power. They get a little taste of it and they want more, and a little taste of it and they want more. And sometimes it becomes an addictive passion and like a, a pathological disease, an addiction worse than drugs, worse than the addiction for substance abuse. That still considered to be one of the riches of this world. And then, sisters and brothers, Jesus gave us the other virtues, the values of the kingdom of God, almost diametrically opposed to what this world considered riches. We are told by Jesus that at the end of our earthly pilgrimage, all of us will be judged by some specific metrics of life. What we did for the sick as a good Samaritan, what we did for the poor, what we did for the hungry, those who don't only hunger for food, eh, but for friendships, for, for companionship, for faithfulness, the homeless, the naked, not those who are naked for clothes, but those who are naked for some kind of, of self-worth or purpose or affirmation or dignity. Sisters and brothers, these are our eternal rewards. When we begin to think about the goodness we could do for others rather than what we can do for ourselves. Notice the, even the language and the man and the parable. Huh? Look, at, look, if you analyze this language and read within the lines, you can even can identify the kind of person you're dealing with. You know, I. I am to do, I have enough room for my crops. I will pull down my bands and my grain and my goods and my soul. That man thought about nobody else but himself, himself. And that is what blinded him to the goodness and the riches of God's kingdom. So the riches of God's kingdom it include not only the things we do for others, but also the intangible things that we cannot touch and feel, the things that, that we try to develop every day, our virtues. So we could become rich in mercy, rich in compassion, rich in understanding, rich in forgiveness, rich in kindness, and rich in goodness. My dear sisters and brothers, these are the things we take with us when we leave this world. It is for this reason that Jesus warned us to be constantly on our guard against the lure of the riches of this world. They may very well become the source of our unhappiness and our emptiness. It is very difficult for a person who is greedy for earthly riches to enter God's kingdom, as the camel is difficult to enter the eye of the needle. The humble, the last, the least of the brothers and sisters of this world may very well be the first, the exalted, and the virtuous 
in God's kingdom. And so today we pray with all our hearts throughout our lives that we will always aspire to make ourselves rich, rich in the sight of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. And so we pray. We ask Almighty God to forgive us and be merciful to us for the many times we ran after the material things of this passing world. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For all the blessings and the generosity of God to us, may we always find time to share these blessings with others. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. May we always remember the words, those great words, in, in giving we receive, Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. May we try our best with all our efforts to make ourselves rich every day in the sight of God. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Special intention of His Holy Mass, we pray for Cheryl, who is scheduled for cardiac surgery today. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For the souls of all those who have died, and today remember Neville, David, and Zora Beggs, Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For all the intentions of our hearts and those that you may have before Almighty God, we place them before his goodness. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Almighty Father, we place these our humble prayers before you in your love and mercy, kindness, and compassion for all of us. May you grant them all through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Take our bread, we ask you, take our hearts, we love you, take our lives. Oh, Father, we are yours, we are yours. Yours as we stand at the table you set. Yours as we eat the bread our hearts can forget. We are the sign of your life with us yet. We are yours, we are yours. Take our bread, we ask you, take our hearts. We love you, take our lives. Oh, Father, we are yours, we are yours. Your holy people stand and watch in your blood. Spirit filled yet hungry, we await your sisters and brothers and my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, Lord, we pray a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him. Through Christ our Lord, 
Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adorn, powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, host. heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Jason, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, and with all the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father. Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the, the sins, sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy on us. us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy you that you should, should enter under, under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, at this time, those right here in the chapel will receive Jesus sacramentally in Holy Communion. You're invited to join us and make your own spiritual communion, to join your hearts with us. Those of you who may be alone at home, or those of you who may be going through some kind of struggle in your life, whatever it is, the Lord comes to you right now. He pours his healing love upon you and beckons you to enter into this time. Allow the Lord to minister to you his healing love. And as we pray, join me in prayer. My Jesus, I believe you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, Come spiritually into my heart, as though you have already come. I embrace you, Lord, and I unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you, O Divine Savior, O Jesus, O Blessed Sacrament. Shall I never 
so we pause for a moment of spiritual communion. How delightful and pleasant is the sweetness of your divine presence, O heavenly bread. How admirable is the tranquility and how perfect is the peace of those who receive you with a broken and a contrite heart. Keep our souls at peace with your wisdom that comes from on high and our vision on the peace of paradise. Our hearts were made for you, O Lord, and they rest only when they rest in you. Give us a firm purpose to fix our abode in your most sacred heart, where we look for refuge, for strength, for help, and for protection. Give us the grace to love you more and more every day, even unto death. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be held by what you gave in this present age and prepared for the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be, be to, God. to God. We wish you and your families a very pleasant and a safe day today. Same to you, Father. Thank you. Thank you all. Glory.